Previously on Majora's Mask Abridged. Jow, my nipple sparkles. And now the exciting conclusion. Hmm, well that was a surprising turn of events. That weird Goron's gone, and all he left behind was this weird mask. Hey, do you think that mask would make you transform like the other one did? Well, I guess it couldn't hurt to give it a try. Oh, wait, I forgot. These masks hurt a lot! Oh my god! My body's made out of solid rock! And I have a beard! Navi, do you realize what that mask has turned me into? A Goron? No! Chuck Norris! Oh, for the love of God! Sure was a lot of work climbing this mountain, but we finally made it to the peak. Now nothing stands between me and the temple. That's, That's what, what you think. My name is Biggeron, guardian of this temple, and I say none shall pass. Especially any heroes of time who stole a sword from me in the last series. Oh, come on! First I nearly freeze to death climbing this damn mountain, and then whenever I finally do reach the top, the temple's guarded by a giant Goron who holds a grudge against me for no reason. This is the worst day ever. Oh, quit being such a baby. Do you really think it would have been any easier if you'd went to any of the other temples first? Meanwhile, at the Great Bay... Beyond the sea, somewhere. Man, the Great Bay is so boring. Every day, it's the same thing with its flawless sunny weather, Zora rock stars, sexy female pirates, and calm seas that allow easy access to the temple. I'm so bored. We could have another all girl naked beach party to pass the time if you want. I guess... I find boys in green tunics to turn on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm probably not missing anything awesome. Now, to try and find a way past this stupid Goron. If you plan on fighting your way through, then you are a fool. For my punches can destroy buildings and my breath creates blizzards. So if it's a beating you want, bring it on, you stupid green hat-wearing... m m m mister Norris! I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize it was you. Please don't hurt me! Oh, don't worry. I won't hurt you. In opposite land... No. Well, that was a lucky break. Good thing this mask makes me look exactly like Chuck Norris. No, it doesn't! It makes you look like a boulder with a beard! Well, it fooled Biggeron. Well, that's only because he's partially blind. Trust me, there's no one else in the world who would ever think that you look like... Why, hello there, Mr. Norris! I'm one of your biggest fans! Would you like to sign my drum? Sure, why not? Why must everyone we meet be an idiot? Later, after a brisk walk to the boss chamber. You know, 
These temples are a lot easier whenever none of the monsters attack you because you look like Chuck Norris. But you don't! And even if you did, I still don't get it. I mean, what's the big deal with Chuck Norris? Haven't you ever looked up any of his facts before? Like how giraffes didn't exist until one day he uppercutted a horse? Or how his tears cure cancer? It's just a shame that he's never cried? Ever? That's not true. Oh, please. Those Chuck Norris facts are just things that some guys on the Internet made up. Someone making something up? On the Internet? Navi, you so crazy. It's Tattle! Cousin, oh hey, is that the boss? Wow, talk about luck. He's frozen solid. That means all we have to do is hit him with a shovel and he'll shatter. Yeah! Or shoot him with a fire arrow so he'll melt. Yeah! Y wait, no! That'll just melt the ice and set him free. Oh, please, Navi. Do you really think there's any chance that I would ever lose to a giant mechanical... Oh, God, with the danger! All right, that does it. It's time to kick this thing's ass. And how, pray tell, are you going to do that? I mean, you've already let it escape. Oh, he hasn't escaped yet. You see, you're forgetting the most important Chuck Norris fact of all. Chuck Norris can roll at speeds up to and including 70 miles per hour. And whenever he hits top speed, stone spikes burst out of his back. What? Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. There's no way in hell any human being could ever... That was true. Okay. Okay. All right. It's time to show everyone my true power and defeat this mighty enemy that only the hero of time would stand a chance against. Did that thing just kill itself by running head first into a wall? Well, I guess it makes sense whenever you think about it. I mean, it was a giant mechanical bull, and no one was steering it. If anyone asks, I defeated it with awesome power. Yeah, sure you did. All right, time to meet another... Hey, wait, is this the same place? Hello there! Ah, uh, damn it, it's the same giant again! I went through all that, and the magic exit took me back to the same damn place! Now how am I going to meet the other giants? But this is the first time we've met. Really? Wow, you giants look really alike. <gasps> racist! That's not racism. That's ethnic criticism. And besides, it's true. You guys look exactly the same. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. If you notice it, that makes it racist. Yeah, right, whatever. Look, I need your help to defeat the Skull Kid. Great. Just gather the other two giants and I'll help you. Oh, come on! You're a giant! And he's just a kid with a mask! You shouldn't need the other giant's help to defeat him! I know. I just don't want to work alone with a racist. Oh, son of a... Dude, that's my bike! Sorry, guys, this is an emergency. I'm Chuck Norris. Americans. Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Irishman. You can tell it's an Irishman because of the smell of potatoes and alcohol. <laughs>